I received several questions regarding vertical intercepts, horizontal intercepts, and interpreting ordered pairs. I thought I would make this quick video about the big ordered pair, which can help you understand how to interpret ordered pairs and intercepts. So let's take a look at a problem from unit six. The problem is called bad investment. The linear equation V equals 35.2 minus 2.2 T gives us the value in thousands of dollars of an investment T years after 2007. And you can see we have to find the, the vertical intercept and the horizontal intercept. Now, we all know the basics. We all know that in an ordered pair, like this big ordered pair we see at the bottom of the screen, we all know that the first value of the ordered pair represents the x variable, and the second value of the ordered pair represents the y value. Well, sometimes our equations have variables besides x and y. In this equation, we have a v and a t. So first we have to identify which variable goes in the x spot and which variable goes in the y spot. So in this particular equation, instead of x comma y, we have t comma v. We can see that the t variable is in place of the x spot, and we can see that the v variable is in the y spot. Now, we also need to know which one of those is input and which one of those is output. The first value of your ordered pair is always the input value, and the second value of your ordered pair is always the output value. So in this particular equation, t is my input variable and v is my output variable. We also need to make sure we know what these variables stand for. What do they represent? In the, in the problem, we can see that T represents the years after 2007, and V represents the value of the investment in thousands of dollars. So I got all that information just from reading the original problem. Okay, now let's interpret the vertical intercept. Remember, to find the vertical intercept, we have to find the output value when the input value equals zero. This means we have to find V when t equals zero. So first, I write down my equation. Then I'm going to replace my input value or my t value with zero. So I have v equals 35.2 minus 2.2 times zero. That simplifies to v equals 35.2 minus zero, which gives me a final value of v equals 35.2. So now we have to put that into an ordered pair to form the vertical intercept. We found that V equaled 35.2 when T equals zero. So let's take a look at our big ordered pair. We have our input and our output. The input variable is T, the output variable is V. The input variable represents years after 2000 and the output variable represents the value of the investment in thousands. So when t equals zero, v equals 35.2, which gives us the ordered pair zero comma 35.2. That means the vertical intercept is zero comma 35.2. This means that in the year 2007, the value of the investment was $35,200. I know that the year is 2007 because T represents years after 2007. Well, if T equals zero, it's been zero years since 2007. And I know the value of the investment was $35,200 because I got a value of 35.2 for V. So in thousands, 35.2 represents $35,200. So in the year 2007, this investment was worth $35,200. Not bad, but let's figure out why this is really called a bad investment. Now let's look at the horizontal intercept. To find the horizontal intercept, we have to find the input value when the output value equals zero. This means now we have to find T when V equals zero. So we start by writing out our original equation, and now we substitute the output variable with zero. 
So 0 equals 35.2 minus 2.2 t. When I add 2.2 t to both sides, my equation is 2.2 t equals 35.2. And my final step is to divide both sides by 2.2. So t equals 16. So we found that t equals 16 when v equals 0. So now let's look at our big ordered pair again. So now my t value is 16 when my v value is 0. This means the horizontal intercept is 16 comma 0. So in the year 2023, the value of the investment will be $0. I know that we're talking about the year 2023 because it's been 16 years after 2007. So 2007 plus 16 gives me the year 2023. And now the value of the investment in thousands of dollars is just zero. So in the year 2023, this investment will be worth zero dollars. And that's why it's called a bad investment.